Hey guys, Brian here with Wolf's Prairie Outdoors. Today we're going to be working on a Harris bipod. I've got a few of these. They're great bipods. I've had them for years and they hold up really well. The one downfall to me is these feet because one, you can't interchange them like you can any of the others. But the biggest thing is when I go to load the bipod, depending on what kind of surface I'm on, it will have a tendency to roll a little bit. And when that rolls, your rifle just inches forward and you lose your setup. So drives me crazy and makes me kind of skittish so I don't load the bipod enough sometimes depending on the surface and it just I want it to be rock solid. So what we've got today is a prototype system from Basketball Weapon Systems. This system will adapt Harris bipods to accept the interchangeable feet like Atlas, Sky, and the others. So with this system we're going to have to remove these rubber feet, install this adapter. Once the adapter is installed we can install the quick foot system like Atlas, Sky, and some of the others have. One unique thing about this system is instead of interchanging the whole unit, these feet have a cup system that will allow it to pop on and off of this ball. So we can just pry the ball off, pop a new ball on, and we're good to go. So it's going to be a really quick system. You don't have to worry about pushing the detent end to release it. So hopefully it works out well. We're going to see. And like I said, this is a prototype system sent to us by Boscobal. We're really excited to have the opportunity to try this out before anybody else. It's on Atlas and all the others that they have. but to install it on a Harris. I'm excited to see how it works. Hopefully it works out well. So with this system, you've got the adapters, the inserts that accept the different feet, your standard rubber feet. We've got some magnetic feet, depending on where you're running this, which is really nice, I think. I mean, car hoods or something like that, you're gonna get a pretty good solid fit. We've also got two different kinds of spiked feet, and let me tell you, these bad boys are sharp. If you're not careful, you will be drawing blood pretty quickly. All right, that's enough yapping. Let's get to installing. Real quick before we get started, I want to mention one thing. When you do this install, you are going to lose that functionality. But if you're like me, when you're out and about, if you don't do that in the air, you're going to do that. And then you've got to reach down and manually click it where it needs to go. It's always been a little bit annoying. I much prefer something like the SkyPod or the Atlas or the Accutac where you just individually click it or just pull it down where you want it to be. I really like that functionality of the SkyPod. Just grab it. You can literally grab it with one finger and slide down the side and you will put it wherever you want. Really good setup. So I'm not that concerned about losing that functionality. It's not that much of a deal to me. So that is just something to keep in mind. You are going to lose that when you do this. Let's get started. First up, we've got to drive out these old pins. I'm just going to take a punch. I got this lined up over the hole in my armor block, so the pin should just come right out. Okay, I'm going to switch up now that I've got it going through. And that is completely through. Now, my foot will come off. There's my old pin. I will set that aside. I do not need it anymore. Okay, next up you're going to install the adapter with a small opening onto the foot, obviously, because the large opening, you put it on there, it's just going to flop around. So we're going to put the small opening on there and make sure you are lined up. Take a punch if you need to and drop it through. Just make sure that you are properly lined up. All right, now on your new pen, it might be a little tough to see in camera, but you do have a tapered side. The tapered side is the side you're going to want to drive in first. This side is more squared off and that's going to be very blunt and difficult to drive through this little hole. So tapered side first guys. Get a set of needle nose to help you hold this to get it started. You don't want to use a nylon hammer on this. You want to use brass or metal of some kind. You don't want to damage the head of your hammer. So now Lightly tap that bad boy in there. I'm going to use a punch to do my final setting. And that's in there. Quick and easy. Let's install a foot real quick and see how that works out. Got to depress that dimple in order to slide it in there. And that's on. All right, let's repeat the process on the other side. And let's rock and roll. Okay, that's just about through. I'm going to switch up to a smaller punch. Give it a good hit. And now I will switch to an even smaller punch. There we go. We are through. Nothing to it, guys. This is really a very, very easy install. Grab that pin again. 
tapered side down. First, make sure I'm lined up. Yes, I am. Okay. All right, let's get this other foot installed. And boom, take the foot. You've got that recess there and it slips up over it just like a ball joint. Boom, it's on there, good to go. And just pry it right off. Obviously you don't wanna just push your hand into a spike to get it on there. This one's gonna take a little more doing. Grab around the spike and kinda of work it on there. Man, that's pretty intense. Let's get the other one on there, see how it looks. Yeah, just when you're doing this one, you want to grab around the spike and in between these claws and just kind of roll it up on there. And now we're good to go. All right, guys, that's all there is to it. Really quick and easy install, as you saw. I mean, just a few minutes, both of these are swapped out. Depending on what model bipod you have, you'll have a spring that retracts when you drive the pin out. You have to use a supplied tool to pull that spring back out. This particular model did not have that. This is the SBRM, so it's the uh, bench rest model. It has a cant adjustment to it, and it has the notched legs. As you can see, I did retain some of that spring tension, just not much because this rubber foot fits much higher up on here, compresses the spring further, and obviously this sits lower, so there's not as much compression. If I'm pointed downward, it'll work just fine, but I'm not really worried about it. It's not a deal breaker either way. What I wanted was the adaptability of interchangeable feet. These spiked feet are gonna be awesome in this red clay we have around here. I'll really be able to get a good grip. For anything you've seen in the video, check the episode notes link below. It'll take you to the appropriate websites for those products. Also check back soon, we'll be putting this bad boy to use when we go out and do some 308 tests. In that test, we'll be testing with Remington 700 SPS Tactical and 308, and we're gonna be doing accuracy testing with the standard stock that came on it, where when you load the bipod, it, the stock can actually touch the barrel a little bit, and it flexes quite a bit, and we're gonna be testing that against an MDT ESS chassis. I think there's gonna be a big difference in accuracy between the two because that chassis is a rock solid setup versus the flimsy basic stock that it comes with. So definitely check that out. There'll be a link right here once that video is uploaded. And if you like what you see, give us a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to check out the episode notes link below as well as our Instagram. Instagram's got a ton of content on there, photos, short videos, all kinds of stuff. And that's about it guys. Have a good one, see you next time.